YouTube, today we have the ban list, well, my ban list predictions, because of course Arc 5 World is one week away. Next Tuesday we'll be playing Pendulums, which is, uh, it's pretty, pretty exciting. Still Konami kind of coming up with, but last year we had the mother of all ban lists to enter the brand new world, and so this year I'm thinking we might get something a bit similar. You know, Grass Screen got banned, Cyberstein banned, we had Charter 2, Gold Starts 2, and just a ton of things on the list out of the three. It was, for the time, a very, very good ban list. I think people are expecting a few things to happen with Onomats and uh, maybe Thunder Dragons, and then I'm definitely expecting them to do that as well. So let's dive right into the Onomats. This deck is just um, too good, right? Uh, right now, and, and, and it's kind of a mix, right, of why it's good. It's the skill, it's consistency, and it's the extra deck. And so what Konami could do is go and put another card to two, right? They could go and do Gaga Ga Ko to two. We've seen them with Aeneas Fusion, Keeper of Dragon Magic. Go and put Structure Deck cards to two. And so it wouldn't be in the realm of possibility to actually have them do that. However, I think the bigger thing, and the, the thing they need to do, is to change Onomata play. Because this skill is the only anime consistency skill with no downside. Like, you know, you have uh, the Resonator skill, you have Chronomalies, Gimmick Puppets, um, Stardust, uh, Gaia. They all have some restriction on them that makes it so they can't go and do this. They can't shit out this board here. So what do you do? You change it so you can only have an extra deck with uh, Onomat cards and number monsters. So you can still run things like your, uh, your Malevolent Sin, but you won't run your Bouncer and you won't run your M7. You'll be running the camera instead, you know, the force focus. You'll be running Gaga Samurai, Gaga Cowboy, that kind of thing. That at least keeps the anime spirit of the deck alive, right? What Dawn's kind of going for now is more anime focused, and so this would change the deck, but not, you know, it wouldn't kill it, right? You know, in a competitive sense, it probably would, you know, go down a couple of tiers, but it wouldn't kill the deck like something like Shirinui, right? For what that originally was, if Onomats go down that route of the Shiranui of getting murdered, then that's gonna suck. And also what you kinda need to remember is that Onomats are an anime deck. And so these guys have so much more support, you know, that was released last year in the TCG, like a structure deck and whole box based around them basically, that they can get. And so many more forms of Utopia that are missing. So switching the skill to focus more on the Utopia side of things, the number side of things, wouldn't be a terrible idea, and I think it's a very good way to, um, to hit the deck without going through and hitting even more cards in the actual deck. But if, if the skill's not enough, then probably code to two as well, and then that's going to be a pretty beefy hit for, uh, for this deck. Moving on to Thunder Dragons. Now, this is a deck that if you invested in it back in the Dark Dimension, you have got a ton of value out of. Like, seriously, like, you've gotten two years, pretty much, of a top-tier deck, despite all of the hits, right? You've had a very good deck. So, what do these guys really need to kind of be hit on? And I think our boy Dragon Dark, it might be time for you to go back to two. Um, to kind of clog up the uh, the Gold Sark zone. So you can't run this and Dragon Dark. Or. Or. You let them keep it. But, you put Dragon Dark and Levianir to three. Which I don't think they will do. But I think I would prefer, because so many times in this deck, you die by Levianir. You die by that back row nuke, and then by summoning another one. And so, if you have to choose, do I run a Levianir, or a very integral consistency card for the deck? You're going to choose Dragon Dark. You know, you might run one and two, but that's better than seeing three of these guys. Then you, you know, then you are forced to then play things like Chaos Betrayer, or Chaos Sork, but... Then you won't be playing your your what your melody right either, so I feel like that's kind of the the hit to go rounds and and maybe maybe as well you make Lord by Darkness fiends only, but then you know then Primo can't use it. So what do you kind of do there? Ah, uh, <laughs> it's a it's a bit of a bit of a weird one for Thunder Dragons, but like like Destiny Draw at this point, I think everyone thinks yes it should be hit, but it's been four years of the game, and it's Yugi's main, main skill 
They aren't going to touch this. If they do, I will clap them forever, right? But they won't touch Destiny Draw. So there's not much point in kind of hoping, you know, if, if it was me, Destiny Draw, right? Make it a thousand. Make it like Tag Force, your life points are so, so low. Then you get the comeback, right? Because that's a bit, you know, that then plays around the veil if you're still playing it, which you're not really playing it because not many decks run it, but it still gets around that. So that to me would be the uh, the the main thing there. Moving on to Cyber Dragons. Look, look at this deck, right? You have limit threes, two limit twos. What could you do? You could shove some more cards to limit three. And then, you know, you're just hitting things for the sake of not changing the skill. Because this is the problem. And I've said this for multiple balance videos, but this, as long as the skill stays the way it is, Konami don't have any incentive to bring in brand new Cyber Dragon cards because they won't be played. Because this version of the deck, this OTK, Blood of the Back Row with Chimera Tech, attack in, is so strong by itself because of the skill giving you two free pro Cyber Dragons or three for free. Because life points don't really matter that much in Cyber Dragon. I would change the skill, I don't know how. I don't know how you would do it to make it, you know, have the same kind of, um, uh, the same legacy, right, I guess, as the skill does now. Maybe only summon Cyber Dragons, right? So you can only go into Twin or End. But then you, you're missing out the Cyber Star part, which was Chimeratech and Cyber Dark. So, I don't know. But this skill needs to be changed again. Because, you know, even if they bring out Infinity, why would you play it when your deck doesn't run rank 5 and you just OTK quicker? Right? If they, you know, if they wanted to, right? If they want to bring Nova and Infinity... You wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do a Cyber Dragon because this is just way better. So, for the sake of more support coming, please, please, please change the skill. I don't know how, but change it. <laughs> then on to the tier two kind of stuff, right? Or I guess, I guess for the for the Casey Cup ladder tier three. You know, Gaia, Harpy, uh, Resonators, Lunalites, even these are all decks that uh, I don't really think need too much of a slap on the wrist but the main thing with them at least you know what i was going to say is this card right here treacherous trap hole a lot of people are thinking it's time to ban it because we saw a true nade get banned and that worked out pretty well so treacherous being another reason why things go to limit two banning this would kind of get rid of that problem and yes it would but also having tth in the game at least right now, for another format, sells Pendulums, in a way. Because Pendulums, when they die by card effect or battle, they go to the extra deck to be resummoned. So, if your opponent blows up some Pendulums, then you're incentivized next turn to bring them all back. Which you don't really do with TTH right now. So, there is an incentive to keep this card around in the game. And if they do that, then I think you're going to want to hit some of these decks with a limit two. So in Gaia, Curse of Dragonfire, this card, you know, you have your skill to search out your field spell, which makes seeing this or this crazy, crazy consistent. So having this card go to two wouldn't really make that much difference. Similarly, with Harpies, right? You know, TTH is going down in value, but they are gaining things as well. So what would you do? Do you do things like probably Oracle to two, right? That could be a, a fair shout. So you run one on one, or do you put, you know, Feather Rest to two, or do you put the Egotist to two? Because you're going to run it anyway, and then you force out any of that, you force out any uh, Econs if this does get banned. You could do that. Similarly, Resonators, right? They're also seeing, you know, TTH be a, a 58%, but they're seeing Econ C play. So just put the Red Resonator to two. Because this card already is in a box that has so many banned cards, is a Shimanubu box, that this going to two won't make that much of a difference for the usual, you know, the casual standard player. It won't make a difference. So you, you could you could hit Wildwind, right? If you wanna if you wanna go consistency and hit that, you could. But I think that this going for Red Resonator makes more sense if you're trying to stop them from using your uh, your spells. I I don't think this deck is like overly bonkersly broken, but because you know it does what it does well, 
It does get you some big boss monsters, but beyond that, your removal is Dark End and Doom Dragon, all of which are very disruptible before you get there. So, just, you know, give them a limit two, make it so they can't play their generic, you know, these generically problem card back row, and, and that'll be fine. And then Lunar Lights. Now, this is a deck that I don't really think right now needs hitting. We are seeing them see play, they are, they are a pretty good deck still, you know, still to this day they're still a pretty good deck, but we know we're getting Arc 5, and Lunar Lights are an Arc 5 deck, with, uh, with Serena, but Serena won't be coming for another 6 to 8 months, right, a minimum. I, I even think she won't be 2022, I think she'll be 2023, or like the very last character in 2022. So, does it make sense to kind of hit these cards now, again? No. I feel like do what you did with uh, with uh, Rikus, with what grows in the graveyard, and close to release, if what you're bringing out is going to be problematic, you then hit the deck and see what happens. Maybe you just hit Tenki, right? And, and, and you make Tenki a limit three. So, you know, you can still run Tenki in your Senju, but you can't run it with Yellow Martin and your, your Emerald Bird, right? If, if this is so much of a problem that it matters, it might not, you know? We might get to 2023 and be so fast and have so many more competent decks in this year that this doesn't need to be changed. And I and I, I don't think it does, but I know people are saying it does. So I thought I'd bring it up and kind of give my opinion, but that is just my opinion on the matter. Now, there is one other card that I think needs to, um, or, or could, something can happen with, right? And that's Floodgate. I think this genuinely could go... To limit three because and this is mainly a profit move to sell pendulums because this card by itself will flip your entire pendulum summon face down and make them unusable unless you have a tribute summon so do konami really want you to have things that are going to actively go against the mechanic not really so this joining cosmic would make sense right so people don't just play an anti-pendulum deck on the ladder to ruin people's day. That's the only thing I think about this. Like the only way I can see this card being hit. I don't want it to. I don't think it should. But it's something they could do. I feel like they could do. Then we have Inishi. I think it's about time this card comes back to one. I don't think it should share the slot with uh, the other samurai cards at two. And having a bounce is really, really nice. Especially when we have things like Harpies, right? That do the same. If you can have Samurais have consistency with the bounce, at least at one, then like if we look at we look at it, look at a deck, right? We go to uh, September seventh. This is a anytime deck, and it shares the slot with uh, with Dojo. So you give them two Dojo, and they get back one bounce. They still play the same ratio, right? Of this, but they get you know they get more search power. Which I think they're gonna need going into uh, into into this uh, this brand new world. Then, what grows in the graveyard? I would really this this is a wish this one right 100%. This needs to go back to what it was. It was you know it was nerfed for for uh, for Rika right to get ahead of the curb, and they did nothing. They came out and were out of the gate squashed because this skill was murdered to have a life point cost on it, which I don't think is the right the right way to go about it right. And yes, we're seeing things like Rika use it, right? But this was March 2021. There's not been a single deck that cogged with this or played in a tournament since March. Since it was killed. <laughs> so, yeah. I they, they need to bring this back. This was one of the most fun skills in the game. That even if you make it limited to plants, right? Will still go a ways to, to making the game just a bit more fun. And finally, you know what's coming? Magician's Rod to 2. I don't ask for anything, you know, for, for everything, right, for Dark Magician, right? But put this to two, make yourself to choose between this and Dark Illusion, because then you're saying, do I want one bit of consistency with interruption of my opponent's turn, or do I want hyper consistency with no interruption? I I think that's a fair trade-off, right? And if not, you know, I, I think if anything this list, they'll put Magician and Dark Illusion to Unlimited, right? Because it doesn't really do much. Uh, honestly, uh, it's not really keeping anything at bay in Dark Magician that he needs to. 
please just you know just 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 bring it back i know people are kind of tired of me you know barking on about dark magician bring it back but you all know master when that comes out i'm gonna be building dark magician so well that'd be fun but in dual links it would be nice to see this card come back you know again like like blue eyes last year got you know this you got structure deck and got you know alternative and dark magician just got no love and hasn't you know that blue eyes just kind of uh survived the ban list one dark magician have which is uh, a little bit unfair i think but anyway that's my balanced prediction discussion video kind of thing all over the place. But uh, let me know down below what you think is going to happen in the balanced this week. Uh, should be pretty fun to see when they drop that. Uh, and of course, with uh, with Arc 5 War coming on Tuesday, that's going to be really hype. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next audience video. See you then.